So someone requested uh, for me to make a tutorial video on how to use contact and put MIDI tracks into it and then have contact output to separate audio tracks so that you can mix it with separate plugins so it doesn't all so all your MIDI tracks don't just go into contact and play out as one big stereo file, you know, with eight instruments inside of it at the same time. Uh, what we can see here is um, I actually found a MIDI file for Master of Puppets, and as horrible as it does sound because it's all MIDI triggers and I don't have proper upstrokes, but I have it um, going in. I have all the separate guitar parts, so you can see them here in drums and bass, guitar one, two, three, solo. And I actually have my contacts set up to have eight stereo outputs, so you can have eight instruments in on these different MIDI files. As you can see, my uh, the blue ones are the MIDI, and then it plays through this. You know, as you can see, it's all going in here separately, and I'll play this little segment for you. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how to make it so that you can do that and so that you can right click on one of these and say render to stem and then mute original and it'll actually go through and have all the audio um, rendering. So what you want to do is go to insert and then virtual instrument on new track and we're going to configure the contact 8 output. So it's the same steps for 8, 16, 64. Um, I'm just doing eight since we're only going to do four stereo outputs at this time. So when you click OK, it's going to pop up with this message because we went to insert virtual instrument. And it's going to say, do you want to add the following tracks for this effect? If not, only stereo output will be audible without further routing. So just to make this a little easier on ourselves, we're going to click on yes. And now we see contact here. And if we close this out, we will see that we have these additional tracks here that um, when we start routing it properly, it'll pop them into there. So open contact back again. And what we're going to want to do is click on this output section here. And when I go through our aux channels and make sure they don't have an output because we don't want to use them for this. Go to configuration button. Make sure it's on not connected by just clicking on it and switching it to not connected okay not connected okay and so on to the last one all right so now what we want to do is we want to add three more stereo outs to complete our eight mono outputs or four stereos so we're going to click on add channel and we're going to be prompted with this message that says uh, that we have to close the plugin before we go ahead and restart this so that it works properly which is fine um we know that so we're going to click okay and then let's add another one and another one and then rename these accordingly to how you'd like. So now since we can't route these yet, we want to just make this default by clicking the red button over here, make default. It's going to say output configuration was saved as default. Click OK. Now we're going to close contact and we're going to delete these here. You want to delete them? Yes. And now after it deletes, we're going to reinsert contact 8 output or whatever one you were just working on. Press OK, and it's going to be the same prompt again, but now the names are different. They're stereo 1, 2, 3, and 4. Press OK. So now we can route these how we'd like. So for stereo 2, go to configuration and make 1 be stereo 2, 1, and then stereo 2, 2. Then go to the next one, stereo 3, 1, stereo 3, 2. Next one, stereo 4, 1, stereo 4, 2. Now to do the same message again, press OK. Make sure you click on make as default so that next time you open it, it works properly. I'm going to close out and we want to delete these again. Now that this is all part of the setup to get this to work every single time the way that you want it every single time. So now we're going to insert once more and we'll actually be able to start working on this. Press OK and it's going to get the same prompt. We're going to say yes. So now we have these tracks in here. We have these ones here as well. So now, how do we get a sound into contact? Well, you might know how to do that already, you might not. So if you just make a new track by double clicking, let's just name this drums. And on contact, I'm going to go to my little library here, which is only the factory select. I don't have the full deal. And I'm just gonna go to the, the pop kit, double click that. And now, 
This is set to output stereo 1, and this is set to receive MIDI port A channel 1. Okay, so now I know that on this drum section here, I have to send to contact, and I need to turn off the audio because I'm sending only MIDI, so there's a none, and then I'm sending all of the, of the MIDI tracks from this channel to channel 1 on the receiving end, which will be contact, so it'll receive... This is going to send whatever is going on in here to channel 1 MIDI of contact. So now if I were to go new MIDI item and I'm going to edit this drums. See how it's coming right through. Make a quick little beat here. So I can turn this down because it's going to stereo 1. Um, if I go ahead and go into contact, I can change this output here to stereo 2. So I gotta start playing on 2 over here, which is awesome. So 1. And now I've got a, um, you know, an, an organ sound going on here. Let's get rid of this. Let's add a new MIDI item and let's do the routing. So we're gonna go IO. We're going to go send to contact four, no audio, all MIDI tracks of this channel going to channel two of contact. So if we go here, we can hear our organ. We can turn it down all separate because it's all separate outputs okay let's do a third so we're gonna do a let's do a bass io send to contact four audio none all midi from this particular track to whoops to track or to MIDI channel three. And now let's go into contact and let's add in the funk bass. Okay, and with let's go to stereo output number three. Receiving on MIDI channel number three. We got what do we got for the sound? <laughs> So now if we go here once more, let's add another insert new MIDI item and we're gonna go let's go do something super simple. So we got we turn the bass down separately. And since we have one more output, let's just do it real quick. I'm just gonna do um guitar. And then IO send to contact for audio none MIDI all to channel four. That's set up. And then let's go into contact. And let's bring over our jazz guitar. And output is going to be stereo four. MIDI input's going to be that. And let's make sure we got sound. Change the sound. Let's do something simple here. And so just play it. What does it sound like? Okay, if you want to make this a little bit more organized, uh, Reaper does a great job of letting you do that because it will carry all of its all of its routing and everything with it when you drag a drag a sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the drums into Stereo One and makes making Stereo One a folder with drums in it. 
then we can make this small so we don't have to see everything. And then we got the organ and stereo two. Hide that. We got bass, stereo three, hide that. And got jazz guitar, stereo four, hide that. And now you play. All you see is the files that you want. You got your meters here for your actual audio. It's awesome. What's cool about this, because if, if we didn't do this the way that I'm doing it now, where you have all these stereo outputs, if you were to try to render this uh, to a stem, what you'd have to actually do is go into contact and solo out the sound that you want, render on contact, and then drag it down, drag the sound down once it's done to the stereo output, and then, you know, it's just a little little bit more of a step it's kind of annoying so when we have it set up this way what you get what you can do now is you can just right click on this and render track render selected track to stem in mute original it's gonna go ahead and do it boom now it's done it mutes the original and if we did that for all of them render uh, let's do whoop, that's one need ready do this one and do the last one now we can mute contact and just have our audio files and we are good to go to free up some CPU power so that's a little bit of getting contact set up properly to output to audio tracks and receive from MIDI tracks that are within a folder of your audio track so that you can even do this for um, if you have your actual playing keyboard set up for maybe a live thing you only have to have one instance of contact open you can have it output to um, an eight channel mixing in uh, Reaper with its diff all different effects and different sounds and mix it properly rather than try to mix it in contact, which is not bad, but this is just a little bit easier if you're more used to Reaper. I would highly recommend doing it this way. So anyway, that's it for now. Um, Johnny from Red Sneaker Records, thanks for watching. Tutorials for Reaper.com.